Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I have a special delivery. Today I'm going to show you how you can make something special for someone special. I have an Instagram friend that she is going to have her face baby in this difficult pandemic. So I just wanted to make something special for her. Look at this. I'm going to make this baby suit for her. I know that it has been difficult. I know that being in this COVID season, it's not the best uh, welcome, warm welcome that you want to have for your baby. But well, that's why I wanted to make this a special video for her. And that's why I wanted to make something special because I know that for her and for many other moms, this haven't been easy, but well, I want to make this video and I want to dedicate it to all the future moms and of course to these beautiful babies that are going to come soon right well i'm going to give you the step by step please before we start don't forget to subscribe and i hope that you make it for uh, for someone for a gift if you are a pregnant well you can start making this for your baby i know that the hot season it's coming so i think it's perfect but well I'm going to give you the material list and let's start right away. Well, for this baby suit, we are going to need 200 grams of this fine material. It could be cotton or acrylic. We are going to use the hook of number three. Remember that if you want to use this material, here I will share all the information where you can buy it. To buy all the materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es and we will send it right to your house. We are going to start making chains according to the size of the chest of the baby. You can take a baby bodysuit as a reference to see how many chains you will need according to the size that you are making a, this baby suit for, okay? I made 15 chains because these will go between the neck and the chest, okay, right there in between. So I made 15 chains. I made one more and we are going to come back making a single crochet in each stitch. Taking the below part of the chain, okay, please count that you have 15 single crochets too. At the end of the row of the 15 single crochets, we will turn around without making a chain. Right away, in the first stitch, we will take both parts of the chain. We will insert the hook right here. We are going to make a single crochet. Then the rest, we will take just this part, one thread, and we are going to make rib a rib stitch. And just the first and the last stitch, we will take both parts of the chain, okay? Like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. At the end, you will see that we will, will kind of create a pleat right here. You see? Well, at the end, as I told you, we are going to take both parts of the chain. So we will insert the hook right here. And we are going to make the last single crochet. Then turn around without making a chain. We are going to continue right away. Remember the first stitch also take both parts and then we will continue making rib stitch. We are going to continue like this for several rows until we get the long of the chest that we want. Just a few rows, okay? Look, I continue and I made these rows. I don't have a bodysuit, baby bodysuit to take it as a reference. So I just Google it. I look for uh, the size. I put a, a standard size for a baby suit. So I'm taking this image as a reference. So according to this, it says that it must be 18 centimeters from here to here. So I have 16. It means that I miss two centimeters, but I'm going to make a row each side at the end, okay? Well, each pleat are two rows. So I have 46 pleats or until we have 16 centimeters this is for a baby of from 0 to 
three months old, okay? Or well, in the best scenario, if you have a baby bodysuit with you that you could take as a reference, well, it will be so much better, okay? So well, now look at this. We will start the row exactly the same. We are making one, two, three, four. So we are going to make five, okay? This will be the bottom part of the sleeve. Okay, so this will go around it. So we are going to make fifth and in the fifth we are going to take both parts of the chain and single crochet turn around and the same the first and the last stitch both parts of the chain and then we will continue making rib stitch and like this we are going to continue making approximately two centimeters okay well i made six rows with the two centimeters that i wanted now i'm going to finish the row here so i can increase the 10 chains that I ate. So I'm going to arrive until here and then I'm going to increase 10 chains to complete the 15 chains that I have as a base chain. So I'm going to continue exactly with the stitch. Remember the first stitch uh, both parts of the chain and then we will continue uh, with the rib stitch. So four and five. Then we will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten chains. Well, so at the end this will be the sleeve, and then this will be the rest. Now again that we have 15 chains, again we are going to make this uh, the same number of rows that we made until here and then we are also going to make the 2 centimeters with 5 stitches only. But well before we go to the other side we are going to increase some chains for the straps. You will calculate how many chains you will need for the straps. In this case like I'm taking an image as a reference but if you have something that you could Take it as a reference, we'll make as many chains as you need. In this case, I'm going to make 20 chains, okay, for the strap. So here are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Well, what do you think this for the strap? I think I'm going to make more chains. What do you think? Yes, I think I'm going to make five chains more so I can be more sure. So, so far we made the 10 chains that we missed and 25 chains more. Well, now from here with these chains, we are going to come back making first a single crochet row we are going to make uh, like six rows like we made here with these stitches that we have just increased so the first row will go taking both parts of the chain like this making single crochet and then we will continue with the rib stitch remember that just the first and the last stitch in the coming rows will we will take both parts of the chain and then we will continue making rib stitch so see you at the end of these six rows well here i'm going to stop i made five chains this will be the strap so i think it's perfect for a baby don't you think so i will stop there and then well now that we are sure with the rows of our strap now we are going to just take the 15 stitches that we had as a base chains and make these rows here I'm making the first row I have made 14 single crochets remember that the last I will take both parts of the chain so again I'm going to start taking both parts of the chain and then I will continue making rib stitch with this 15 uh, stitches so we are going to continue like this until we arrive here okay leaving these stitches to make the straps Okay, but well, see you here, okay? So well, I finished to make these rows. As you could see, I left these five 
uh, rows without. So from here I took 25 sin, uh, sorry, chains more. So I'm going to make the rest of the uh, rows that I miss with these stitches. And then I'm going to continue making this part with uh, for two centimeters more. But well, for now, I'm going to continue with the strap. I'm going to make exactly what I made in the other strap and see you there. Well, I get ahead and I just made the two straps. I finished and then here in the last five stitches, I made this, this rows. Remember that you have to make six rows, but I just made five because with the last row I'm going to join here with the other side with single crochet. So this will complete the rows that I need. So I will take one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side and then I will join with single crochet. So if you can join while you are uh, crocheting it's so much better than later okay so as you see I'm taking one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side but just one thread one part of the chain like this and just the last stitch we will take both parts of the chain in both stitches like this okay so now we join and as you could see we just have a pleat, but it completely been uh, blend, right? So we finished the first part, the top part of our baby's uh, bodysuit. We finished the straps and everything. And here we won't make any extra stitch like this is how it will be. So now we are going to continue with the rest of the stitch for the rest of the baby bodysuit. From here we will make two chains and we are going to make a double crochet in each stitch okay like this is how we are going to continue the whole row we are going to make these double crochets of just two crochets okay so we are going to insert the hook in these spaces at the end of the row we slip one to close like this now we are going to start with the next stitch i think that so far it's perfect right well we will go up with one two chains and we are going to make five double crochets in the same space to make puff chain that we made at the beginning will count as one so here we have three four and five all of them in the same space. At the end, we will take the hook and we will insert it in the last, I mean in the first stitch, and we will join the first stitch with the last stitch, a slipping one, then we are going to make one chain. Then right away, we are going to continue with the next stitch, right here, and we are going to make nine double crochets after this first puff. So here I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And in the next stitch, we are going to repeat one puff. So remember, in one stitch, we are going to make five double crochets, and then we will join the last stitch with the first stitch, slipping one, and then one chain, and again, nine double crochets. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? Remember that at the end, when we have this, we are going to insert the hook in the last double crochet and we will join the last with the first one. It is important. Here, let me fix it. We will here insert the hook and then we are going to make one chain and then nine double crochets. 
and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well, I will share a secret with you. At the end, I missed three stitches to complete the row. So what I made is that um, here before, to have the same space in each puff, here before, here, here, and here, in the eighth stitch, I made two together, so I can complete the series and I can complete the same number between each puff. So you will see, uh, according to the size that you are making this, if you need to fix it or not to make this little trick that I'm sharing with you. And once we are sure, well, we are going to close the row, slip in one, like this. Then we will go up with one, two chains, and then we will continue making double crochets. And in this row, we won't make puff, okay? Just only double crochets. And please count, remember that we made nine double crochets and 10 with the puff. So we must have the same number. So we will have 10 double crochets between each puff. So please count. Here at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close. And now in this row, we are going to alternate the puff. Okay, we are going to make the puff here. So we are going to make double crochets until here, one before, and then we are going to make the puff. So we will go up with two chains, and then we are going to make four double crochets. So here we have one, two, three, And now here in the fifth, we are going to make the puff. Remember that the first chains that we made will count as one double crochet. So well, here in the fifth space, in the fifth stitch, it's where we are going to make the puff. And this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row. Then again, double crochets and then until here we are going to make again the puff and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row alternating the puff and well like this is how we are going to continue okay as you could see we are going to alternate making one row with only double crochets and one row with double crochets and puff well following the same technique and with the instructions i made 19 rows okay so here you can count them and now we are going to divide to make the bottom where the diaper will go, okay? So we will divide and remember that the back part will go a little bit wider and the front part will go a narrow, okay? And so we are going to divide. So we are going to divide in half. So just uh, please let me look for my markers to point it out exactly the half. So here we will use our markers. Well, look, here I divide just right in half and I count how many stitches I have from one side and in the other side. So I have 55 stitches. So before we divide and before we made the other section, it is important that you place which is the front and which is the back. Okay, so this will be the back and from here we will start making the wider side. The side that will go in the back of our baby. So from here we will count four double crochets. We will slip four and five. So we have five and we will continue as it goes, okay? Where we should make the puff, we are going to make the puff. And where we are going to make double crochet, we are going to continue with double crochet. And again here, we will leave the same number. Well, here I am in the other side and also leave five uh, stitches here at the end. So here is where I'm going to stop. Remember that I'm going to start making this part apart. So this is the back part. I will go up with two chains. And then I'm going to start to reduce some stitches. So I'm going to make the next double crochet. So here we have two. And here is where I'm going to skip one and then I'm going to continue 
with the next and we will repeat the same in the other side so we are going to continue making double crochets we can continue and leave it like this but I have teach you a, in a previous video a secret that with this trick you won't see that you skip a stitch so from one stitch we will join with the other and like this like in relief we are going to join both stitches and we will make the double crochet so you see now you don't have that cold that you had before and with this you won't tell that you skip a space right so we are going to continue until here and also when we are almost arrived here we are going to reduce and skip and repeat the trick right here again and like this is how we are going to continue for approximately 14 rows more reducing one stitch each side following the same technique with the same stitch as it goes well from here until here i made 14 rows okay following the same series and reducing one stitch each side and as you see we don't see any hole you see how it's important to use the trick that i gave you when we reduce remember that we reduce two stitches each row okay so at the end i have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen and twenty so you must finish with twenty stitches well, with this same number of stitches, we are going to make two rows with half double crochet. And here is where we are going to place the bottoms. See you at the end of these two rows, and then we will cut the thread. And we are going to use it to start with the front part of the body, okay, here. Well, we finished the two rows of half double crochet, and look, from one from the marker to here we are going to count 15 stitches and from the marker to here we are going to count 15 stitches too so let me move the marker to here because I think it's useful here right so here I'm going to place the marker 15 stitches after so here also we are going to continue with the same stitch and we are going to reduce two. It is important that uh, before we also I'm going to place a marker here. But I was about to tell you that it is important also to see where we are going to start. Okay, as you see, this is the uh, the right side. So we have to match the stitch with their rows. Okay, so this is the right side and this is the wrong side so we are going to start right here to have the buff in the same side uh oh let me check okay if we start here when i came back no i will have the buff in the wrong side so now we have to put the thread right here so sorry we almost make a big mistake, but well, thank God we see it early. So here is where we are going to start, okay? So I rather to make the double crochet rows facing to the wrong side than the buffs, right? So please take that into account. And for now, in the first row, we won't skip any stitch, okay? We will um, we won't reduce in this first row, and we are going to alternate the buff too okay so we are going to make a one buff here the other one here and until the marker so from one marker to the other marker i count and i have 25 stitches so now we will go up with two chains and now in this second row where we are going to make the double crochets row only we are going to reduce in the third stitch making the trick that we made okay as you see here we skip one and we reduce then we will continue and we will repeat the same at the end too and um, we will start from now 
reduce one at the beginning and at the end in each row for five or four rows. Let me finish and then I will tell you exactly how many rows I made, okay? Well, remember that at the end we will reduce here, right here, third stitches before the end and we will reduce like this, okay? Well, I made one, two, three, four, and five rows, and now I'm going to make a half double crochet row like I made here to place the bottoms too. So I'm going to make two half double crochets row with the same number of stitches. And please, when we finish this row, do not cr uh, cut the thread because from there we will um, continue with the elastic or I don't know what I'm going to make but just let me finish these two rows of half double crochets and see you there please don't cut the thread well look here I finished and this is where we are going to place the bottoms we are going to make some small bottoms here or a brush like you want and all around the legs we are going to make a simple but beautiful row to don't um, that this won't damage the leg of our baby so we are going to make a simple stitch we are going to make all around a double crochet row okay we are going to make these double crochets of two crochets in this part if you want to reduce a little bit your leg well you can skip some spaces but just some of them please because then it will be too tight so I suggest that if you can well, please just uh, try not to skip so many stitches, but also don't add too much until here. Well, I count how many stitches I made to have exactly the same in the other side. So I have 46 stitches. With these stitches, I'm going to continue with the second row. We will go up with two chains and we will continue making double crochets, but now in relief. This means that we are going to place the hook in the back like this and one in the front so we are going to alternate once we are going to place the hook in front and once we are going to place the hook in the back and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row I suggest that if you can you can use a crochet hook of number two and a half or the one a number small that the one that you are using because it is better that you make this part a little bit tight. If not, well, try to make it tight, like me. And I will see if with these two rows it's enough or not. I was about to make the third row, but I think it's enough. Remember that we also look to make this comfortable for our babies. So I think that with two rows it's enough. So we are going to cut here, remember, a long thread and then we are going to hide it through all our project using our embroidery needle or the hook too and well and what we have just made in this leg we are going to repeat it in the other leg with the same number of stitches and everything okay so once we finish this we are going to place the bottoms okay we are going to look some bottoms that are small and easy to use okay and also please think in the uh, in the baby <laughs> this must be comfortable so here we are going to place three bottoms and we are going to place one here and one in the other strap and well here these are the bottoms that I found I already put this one and you will see that we will open a little bit here between the project to um, close and use the bottom so you will see it will be very easy in this case I'm going to sew it so this is how we are going to sew it also if you want you can use some blouse or also you can crochet some bottoms but we'll, I, in this case I'm going to use this one Please, it's, it's important that we also look for bottoms that are comfortable for our baby, okay? Please be careful. And well, this is how we are going to 
put the bottom you see and we are going to repeat the same here we are going to place three bottoms and this is how we will finish okay at the end you are just going to uh, hide all the loosened ends that we have and put the last bottoms and that's it we won't iron this project okay like this it's ready so i hope that you have liked it well i hope that you have enjoyed making this project with me like this will be a gift i'm getting ready uh, the box i'm fixing a nice box with this nice paper and inside I'm going to place the baby bodysuit. I love it. I hope that you have enjoyed making it. Remember that, that you can make it in so many different colors, in so many different sizes. So I hope that you like it. And if you are about to become a mom, well, please make it. I'm sure that you will enjoy it. And you, while you make this, you will think in your baby. So it will be a nice moment. Also, if you have someone that is expecting a baby, well, I'm sure that she will love this gift okay so please if you make it don't forget to put a card inside and don't forget to make it with so much love okay thank you so much for watching remember that it's very important to me that you are subscribed to this channel this is the best reward and also your comments and your likes thank you so much for your time please don't forget to follow me in all my social media Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. See you in the coming videos, and I hope that you have enjoyed making this break with me. Thank you once again, and see you soon. Thank you.